and today's video is all about my twin, just kidding, <laughs> my sister. And if you guys don't know her, where have you been? She's been on my channel multiple times. My most watched videos are with her and she's my best friend, my favorite person to film with. The least awkward person I've ever filmed with. Can I just say that? Everyone is like, like I'm so awkward. Everyone's like I feel awkward oh, right I'm now. I'm so awkward. Oh my gosh. It's so it's crazy to film with those people. But this is my favorite speak. person. Mm -hmm. So what's your name? Let's introduce. Hi, I'm Nicole. It's nice to meet you. How old are you? Twenty one. She's legal. <laughs> twenty fun. Twenty fun. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say twenty five. I was like, oh we changed it. <laughs> Alright. So we are three years apart. But a lot of people think that we're like the same age, close in age. People, Some people always think, think that we're twins. I yeah. don't think we look quite the same. I think alike. in this video we look so different. Yeah. I'm looking at us. In and I'm person like, we do look a little more alike, I would say. I think so, yeah. yeah. But this is a long time coming, this video. You guys have been asking for a video from us together for a long time, and the circumstance for this video is amazing. So I hope you guys really enjoy everything that we're about to tell you because this is some big news what is this news that we're about to get so, so. i wrote a book and it is available <laughs> right now for pre-order and it's called worth it it's called worth it and we've talked a little bit about worth on this channel but if you really want to hear from someone who's educated who knows their stuff and who's also really cool and like with the times <laughs> but if you want to get a book from someone who is in your generation and knows what your generation struggles with and knows what your generation needs to hear this is the book that you want to pick up you definitely want to pre-order it and say that you were the first to get it because when they sell out girl you gonna have to be waiting a long time to get your copy okay <laughs> do they sell out I feel like yeah they do? Can tell. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was like a continuous website or something. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can get more, but it will just take a little bit. So you, you need to get it before they sell out. So the book is called Worth It, as she said. What exactly, in like a brief synopsis, is this book about? So this book really deals with self-worth from a biblical perspective rather than from what society and culture tells us that our worth is supposed to be and where our worth is supposed to be. So it really just deals with confidence and it deals with self-worth and so many things that we face as young women in this generation. And it just deals with it from a biblical perspective. So if you guys have ever dealt with feeling like worthless or just feeling like maybe you're not important, mm -hmm. I really encourage you guys to pick up this book because, you know, you may not see it, but there are people who deal with this and you're not the only one. Mm -hmm. Both of us have felt like this before as well. And it's not something you maybe want to make public. But I think with this book, this is a very vulnerable project. Something that not many people would really be willing to do. Let's talk about things that they've struggled with. And so if you want to know like someone who really has gone through the same things that you have, you want to read this book. What is your favorite chapter let's say in the book my favorite chapter is a chapter called a lost art and it's about vulnerability and it really just talks about how vulnerability really connects us as human beings and brings us together in a way that many other things don't because when we're vulnerable with each other and we're honest we're able to really be relatable and we're able to be just honest about our struggles and really be able to minister to each other and so it's just a chapter that I feel like is really worth talking about and a topic that I really feel really passionate about is vulnerability so that's something that is probably my favorite in the book one of my favorites okay so vulnerability so in terms of like after reading it what what do you expect like the readers to feel or do you expect them to make some type of change I really expect people to walk away from Worth It feeling really encouraged and empowered, but not in the way that like our culture talks about empowerment, but really empowered from God that you that I am worth something, that I do have a purpose, and that God really has something planned for my life. And I think that if you walk away feeling more confident and feeling that you have worth that is so much deeper than the surface, I will be very, very happy as an author if that is how you walk away feeling. So 
That's awesome. Yeah. So once this project is over, can we expect to see any more books in the future? I'm getting like way ahead. The book hasn't even come <laughs> out, but as you guys know, my dad wrote a book. I talked mm -hmm. about it in a, like a while ago in a couple videos. It's very, very good. And I know he's working on his second book too. And I know that she, the city never sleeps, okay? This girl, <laughs> once she's like inspired, you know, she doesn't like, she doesn't just start something and then just like leave it there. So... Is, what would be think, next? Yeah. I think once I graduate college in April, I will be ready to write something else. So I'll probably start having like other ideas over the next eight or nine months. And then when I graduate, I'll probably start working on something else just because I'll have a bit more time on my hands. So yeah, I'm not really, I don't know. I don't want to give anything away. I don't really have a ton of ideas yet. And so uh, not only will you guys just be able to get the book like online you can also get it in person which is pretty awesome if you guys want to meet this lovely person <laughs> and um myself too so <laughs> you want to meet her you want to make the trek <laughs> if you want to meet us and buy the book in person get it signed kind of just talk to her in person about what it's about we will be at the crown plaza at north american youth congress on Friday, what is it, afternoon? Yep, Friday afternoon, 2.30 to 4. 2.30 to 4. So we're gonna host like a little party. Actually, so in terms of hosting, Caitlin's gonna tell you a little bit more about <laughs> who is hosting us and where it's being hosted. So we have a friend, Camille, we've talked about her before. She has like an online shop called W Vintage Vibe. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of her. Her page has been blowing up lately. She's been She's getting amazing. a lot of, yeah. An amazing, amazing person. A lot of exposure. I guess a lot of people mm -hmm. have been looking at her page and I have some stuff that I showed you guys from her in my previous haul video. So if you guys have like heard of her, she's really sweet. She's really cool. She's one of my mentors. She texts me some really encouraging stuff all the time and she's just a really sweet person. She offered to host Nicole and the book signing at her like shop and she has a, what is it, a ballroom? A conference room. A conference room at the Crown Plaza Hotel. So we will give yeah. you the details that will be under in the description box below about like little details about what room, what conference room it's in. Yeah. But you and need to come, you need to meet her. Buy some stuff from her too. She's incredible. Uh, she has some cute stuff. She's definitely someone who is <laughs> worth meeting, worth emulating. She's really, she's a, and she's an amazing Christian, really. Mm -hmm. She really is. We adore her. She's, she's awesome. So sweet. So come meet her, hang out with us. I will have copies of Worth It there. Um, they'll be $12, so just be prepared for that. Um, and you can meet Kate, because she's amazing. <laughs> I'll be vlogging, so I know some of you guys have been um, DMing me, asking if I would be vlogging, and if you guys could be in it, and stuff like that. And some people are like, I know this is kind of rude, but can I be in it? I'm like, that's not rude at all. Honestly, if I ever saw like a YouTuber that I liked and I saw them vlogging, I would like run up and be like, hey, I'm in the vlog. So <laughs> I totally am not like, I'm not going to be weird about it at all. Trust me, you guys. I would love to like have you guys in the vlog and uh, like we'd love to take like pictures and stuff like that. If you guys want to, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also we're hoping there will be refreshments. We're hoping there so, will be. We're not really sure. We're going to try and make this happen. Comment so if you want refreshments. Let us know. Fingers crossed. We would love it if there was refreshments because that's where the party's at. Yeah. Is where the refreshments are. So hopefully that will be a thing. Also, we have another special guest who will be there. Oh, yeah. Um, we do. So another pretty cool person that will be there. If you guys, I'm sure you guys know this person because they got to speak and sing at the last NAYC. So they're kind of a celebrity. Blake Soto is going to be there. So all the guys watching this video, if you guys are like, I don't want to go to a dress shop, I don't want to go read a girl's book, meet Blake Soto, because he's pretty cool. He's really great. And I'm a little biased, but he's amazing. You yeah, be. they're dating, if you guys didn't know that. You probably should have clarified. He's not just going to be there for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> but if you guys want to go, like, with your girlfriends or whatever, you know, take, yeah. like, a prom couple photo. <laughs> So another special thing, let's talk about who wrote the foreword for this book. Yes, my friend Gina McCool wrote the foreword. Her and... friend, Gina McCool. Her friend. <laughs> She's awesome. But if any of you guys know her, she is someone who's really faced some very serious trials in her life. 
she just really has come out of them and come through them so graciously. She's like one of the kindest, most considerate people you will ever meet. She's amazing. If you ever have a chance to meet her, shake her hand, do it. She's amazing. But she wrote the foreword and um, I just really wanted her to kind of start the book off on like a good note. So if you hate the rest of the book, at least you like the foreword. At least you like Gina. <laughs> Gina's amazing. Is there like a chance so, she'll be there? Gina will be there on Friday night. I don't know if she'll... Actually, she'll be there Friday all day. So maybe she'll come to the book signing. So maybe if we pray hard, Gina McCool, I just ripped my hair out of my head. <laughs> if we pray really hard, yes, maybe Gina will be at the book signing as well. Yes. Maybe she'll bring refreshments. <laughs> we maybe can call Gina, it. We'll come Gina, bearing donuts. can you bring the donuts? <laughs> can you bring some coffee? Can you bring some refreshments for yes. this party? <laughs> Well, I believe that we have just covered everything we wanted to talk about in this video. We hope you guys are as excited to read it as I am because, truthfully, I haven't read the whole thing. <laughs> I, I don't read think little... you've really read any Yeah, I think you've let me read little bits and pieces. Yeah, or paragraph pieces. There. She's I'm just as confused as you are, Kevin. I'm like... <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> you know that zebra? No. <laughs> what? I'm just as confused as you are, Kevin. Yeah, I'm, you know, trying to read it as well. And I'm going to have, like, the same reaction as you guys to this project. And I'm really excited to read it as well. So if you guys want to pre-order it now, you guys can totally do so. I'll have the link down below. And if you guys want to meet us in person and buy the book in person or pre-order and then buy it in person, you can get two copies, you know, you yeah. know, support your girl then you can do so. We'll have all the information for like the meetup and the book signing down below. We'll have our Instagrams, we'll have Vintage Vibe, Gina McCool, all that stuff down below. So if you guys are interested in that, please open up that description box. Give this video a like for books and authors and this book author. Um, come meet her, she's awesome. So you want to meet her. She's really, really cool. So just really come to meet to her meet you guys and I will also be there. No, we both will hope to meet you guys. <laughs> so if you guys want to see exactly what the book is about and when it comes out and all of that, we have this preview. Wait, why am I pointing down? No, we're about to show you guys an exclusive preview for the book. So let's get ready. Countdown. Five, four, <laughs> no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I hope you realize the truth is you will never find yourself in the way that our culture would have us discover ourselves. And as much as you may believe that you are worthless and unusable, God sees an infinite well of possibilities. And that where you are in this stage of life is in fact an opportune moment. When you believe that you should be thrown away, He will relentlessly pursue you. If you let him, he will overwhelm you with love that doesn't make sense to mere human minds. This love surrounds your fear, overtakes self-hatred, overshadows depression. It simply frees. Frees you to be who you were created to be. Because you are worth it.